the fun thing, though, about being a comedian, I like hanging out with my friends. I got a buddy of mine. His name's uh, Luis Gomez. And me and Luis went to McDonald's to eat recently. And we both go. We ordered our food. And then we take our food, and we sit down at our table. And then Luis went to the bathroom. So he left me alone with his food. So I was like, I'm going to play a prank on him, you know? So I grabbed his hamburger. I unwrapped it. I took a bite out of it. And I wrapped it back up. I put it back down on his tray. So that's my big prank. <laughs> like when he comes back and opens his burger, I'll just be like, dude, did they eat your burger before they gave it to you? That's crazy, right? Is that crazy? <laughs> it's a ridiculous prank. It's dumb. It's harmless. It should never leave the table. What should happen is Lewis should just come back. He should open his burger. And his first reaction should be to look at his best friend he's sitting with, who, by the way, also dabbles in comedy. <laughs> And just be like, hey, I just wanted to run this by you uh, before I unexpectedly go freak out <laughs> on this entire McDonald's. <laughs> That's what I thought would go down. Just a quick, hey, I wanted to see if you touched my food the only time it was out of my sight before I try to fight a group of people <laughs> that are going to be pretty confused on why they're fighting. <laughs> but instead, that was the day I learned I'm friends with a lunatic. <laughs> and a guy comfortable fighting McDonald's employees because he opened his burger and he could not have ignored me quicker. Like, didn't even kind of look, like, looked at him so, he looked like he expected them to do it, like it's happened before. <laughs> and he's like, again, again with this? He just starts, he starts screaming at all. He's like, somebody ate my burger? How about I fight all of you till I find out who ate my burger? So he gets up, he starts walking towards him. So now I gotta jump in. I can't believe it's working. Like, we have gotten so much farther than I thought we could ever get. I grabbed him. I was like, Lewis, I ate your burger. I ate it, dude. You gotta, that's insane that you didn't look at me. That's insane. So I get him to sit down, but it's already weird. Like, everybody's like looking at us. It takes like 10 minutes for people to quit filming us with their phones. And that's when it hits me. I started thinking about it. I was like, Lewis, I was like, you're gonna get killed one day. I was like, you were about to go fight it. I was like, let's look, let's pretend that I'm not here. Let's pretend that someone did eat your burger that worked at this McDonald's. Let's pretend that really happened. You were gonna go blindly fight that guy. Not even try to like size him up, like see what he looks like at least. Do you really think you could beat up a guy that is apparently pretty confident in himself? <laughs> that he's making burgers, he's then eating them. just sending them out to whoever. You don't think that guy's probably the greatest fighter of all time? I honestly think you'd walk to that McDonald's counter and be like, hey, who ate my burger? And all the McDonald's employees would just part ways. Because they know exactly who you're talking about. And in the very back of McDonald's, you see a guy standing there cracking his neck. He's got his fist in the fryer. He doesn't even know it. Just sitting there warming his hands. All right, guys. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank you. I love that. Thank That's you. hilarious. Thank you so much.